battery. We'll see how long this goes. So I, I listened to the Ear Biscuit with Hank Green today. I just feel really inspired about online video and every cool thing that it does. Hank Green said something really interesting about fitting in. If you start off as authentic and doing what you want and forging your own path, you don't, have, you don't have to place yourself somewhere and conform to some expectation. You're able to grow and love what you want and have the freedom behind that in choosing what you want to do. It's the same idea as if you were to go on YouTube and start your own thing versus trying to conform to someone else's expectation. I like this and Hank actually reblogged this one day off of Tumblr. It's not important where the values come from. It's important what the values are. The other interesting story that Hank talked about too was when he talked to John about their decision to go with a new opportunity because of the fault in our stars, but they didn't want to bring so many new people in because of the fault in our stars. I love how he mentions it was like a wave of change was coming and they didn't want to get on that wave and do that. And in a way, not like destroy, but jeopardize the community they had already formed on YouTube from the start, the like initial vloggers community. They didn't want to do too much change and bring in so many people that was a new audience to their channel. I mean, it's really inspiring when they can remain true to the audience they originally formed. And I do agree with Rhett and Link that when I watch Vlogbrothers videos, I do get the feeling that John and Hank really want us to know things and want to accept that we barely know anything at all. The latest year, Hank and John, the phrase is called not knowing. That's the title of the episode. So I thought it tied really, really well into this ear biscuit I was listening to. Hank believes in the deep importance of online video, video culturally, the ability for people now to create content that they really want. Like the, the gap between the idea and the creation of the idea. There's not like a huge delay in that now. It's so easy for creators that own a channel to produce the kind of content they want or to put more production into it with three or four or five or six or more people instead of it taking so much time to get something on television or or take so much money and so much work to produce. I think we're finding more succinct ways to produce valuable content. And it's like Hank mentions that just, he doesn't care if people are using it as a stepping stone. He really sees online video and the creation of that culture as the important part. He cares that people are doing difficult and interesting things through online video. It's amazing. When I did Shea Timber and I did all that goal setting with that huge community uh, through that whole month in 2012, did I ever predict that I'd be doing an online goal setting thing with a bunch of people and when I was little? No, not even close. And he thinks, he mentions to Rhett and Link and the amazing work that they're doing with Good Mythical Morning, which I think just started returning every single day on, the, on that channel. It's how there are people that are creating content in new genres that's ahead of mainstream media. And I wonder if like mainstream media will ever be able to catch up. Like, do you think mainstream media will ever catch up to online video? It may not. I mean, those, those two mediums may intermingle, but I don't know if they'll ever be at the frontier of brand new content. The tools that we have now with online video and YouTube is really making us idea machines because instead of needing a bunch of people or a bunch of money first, people are starting individual channels, creating things, and then gaining people and creating companies off of the ideas they're already creating. So instead of the preparation coming before the creation, the creation comes first, organically and naturally develops, into something larger like VidCon or the conferences that we see. Like how interesting the the one person vlog format is and how much you can do with just a video camera in terms of editing, in terms of the speech, the characters you play, the message you create in like a four minute video. Tell and teach and show so much. It's mind boggling with an online platform that anyone can reach. That level of engagement, that level of of connection is really exciting. Hank's perspective on it is really, really contagious, his positivity and his foresight, um, despite the challenges that we're facing. So that was my thought today. Great Ear Biscuit episode. Like I just, I stepped away from Ear Biscuit episode with so many ideas in my head. I felt I just had to spill some of them out during this v -v 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 Veda. I can't believe my battery has lasted this long as well. Probably not gonna work when I import the footage. That's all for today. Another podcast-like episode. Keeping you, don't forget to be awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody, Polka, what are you watching? What are you thinking? What's going on? See ya.